Hey folks, this is James from Pseudorite. I'm excited to talk about a new feature called filters uh, that is now in labs. So if you go to the labs tab and turn on filters, you'll see a new button under labs called filter. And so the idea here is that you've written something, a passage, and you're trying to rework it. Maybe it's not quite uh, the wording you want, maybe you want to rephrase it, maybe you want to add more telling details. Um, in essence, you know that you need to do some work on this passage. So what filters, you can think of it kind of like a Photoshop filter. Uh, it will look at your existing text and give you some different options for how to rewrite it. So click on filter, oh, first highlight um, the passage. Uh, here we have a passage that um, describes the first time that Neo in the Matrix goes into uh, the real world. So he, it's a very visceral passage. You know, fingers are distended and mirrored icicles that begin to melt rapidly, dripping, running like wax down his fingers, spreading across the palm. And let's say that you aren't quite happy with how uh, you've rendered this. What you can do is click on filter. And we have a few different options here. Uh, what it does is it pops up a card set here where you can specify how you want to, refil uh, to filter it. Let's say that you, uh, we have a diff few different options. Let's say that you want to simply rephrase it. Just give me some different options. Keep the original intent and meaning. Rephrase it. Oh, you know, the water inside of them vibrates. Okay. So you can see this is, you know, very kind of similar to describe, uh, but the um, the intent here is that it will actually rewrite uh, your passage just in a different way. And you can do this as many times as you want if you don't like these uh, particular options. But now let's try a different, uh, a different filter, uh, the descriptive filter. So let's say uh, that you want to add more description uh, to this passage. And what this does is try to expand the description uh, in different ways. He will never play piano again. This is an interesting telling detail. Um, and so like Wormhole and the other features that I have pseudo write, the idea here is to give you different ideas of how to approach uh, your story, how to, how to approach the rendering of your story into prose. And you, know, you can go ahead and favorite some of them, uh, insert and copy paste as usual. Another one is succinct, let's say you just you know, you want to cut down the words. Okay, you know, James, look at his melting hands. They're distorted into icicle fingers. It's pretty good. Or maybe you want something more conflicted. So this is useful um, if you want to bring more introspection into this passage. So what this does, it will add more maybe conflicted thoughts from James. Uh, he sees his human face reflected. It's only warped in reflection of a wolf. Okay, he looks at the window. His skin had begun melting away. And you can do this more, more, more times. He realized that his hands were no longer connected to his arms. Uh, he watches in fascination as the ice dribbles from the side of his hand. He struggles to understand what he is seeing through a strange alien. He realized no longer just hands, but the cage that held him. So adds a little bit more conflicting elements, uh, and you can use these uh, to help further your story, to add interest to the passage, uh, perhaps to increase the stakes of the passage as well. And so those are the pre-canned ones, uh, but there's a lot more that you can do with filter. But these are the ones that we've found to be pretty consistent in our testing. But if you want to try some more advanced techniques, uh, you can try custom. And here you can basically uh, tell the AI how you want it to be rewritten, how you want it to be filtered. So rewrite to, you can say, be more quirky. And so these are a little bit further afield. And so we don't guarantee that these will always work. And so these are a little bit more experimental. So uh, give these a try. And they'll be more hit and miss, but uh, it might, uh, some of them might spur on some good ideas. Hmm, seems like puddles. He saw his face in the puddles that formed. Okay, be more quirky. Um, one other favorite thing of mine to do is, let's say that you've written 
um, a just you know a, a very telling uh, passage. And you know that we should do more showing in our writing uh, in some cases. So we can do say rewrite to show, not tell. Let's try it on this. So Jane let loose the arrow as the airplane flew overhead. She was shocked. And so this try this tells the AI to try to do more showing. So Jane's fingers curled around the bowstrings as the airplane's noisy engines frightened the doe. She let go and the arrow flew true. So it you know, adds a little bit more interest, it puts you more in the scene. And let's see what other ideas it can give us. People said, oh my god. The Boeing 747 has thundered across the sky. So, you know, these really tells the AI to try to ground it into the scene, give more visceral details that puts the reader into the scene. Smoke poured out, arrow flew toward the jet. Uh, another, another interesting thing is that filters can go way beyond just um, rephrasing things. For example, you can tell it to change the setting. Uh, this, uh, and the AI will try to comply. So this, this is a, I believe this is a um, passage from Hemingway. So Mr. Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night and was too drunk to remember the shot the pup holes. So, you know, set in the farm um, with Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Let's say uh, rewrite to be set in a bustling city. So the AI will attempt to look at this and re- uh, <laughs> reset, uh, put, put the uh, passage in different settings. So, Mr. Jones of the estate office had locked the office doors, but was too distracted by thoughts at the market to remember to shut the window. And so you see it kind of follows the, the cadence of the content of which, you sh uh, of the, the, the content of the original passage, but it resets it into an office. Um, let's try a different one. Let's highlight this again. Uh, be set in medieval times. See what happens. <laughs> the lord of the manor had locked the hen houses, but was too drunk to shut the pup holes, uh, where Lady Anne was already snoring. Okay, so you know some some very uh, switching out some of the nouns. Um, uh, bolting the doors, he lurched across, kicked off his boots, drew off the last goblet of ale from the keg in the kitchen, and made his way up to bed. So as you can see here, it's 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 not just replacing uh, nouns here and there. Uh, the AI really does understand uh, the core concepts of this original passage and tries to seamlessly set it into a different place. So, you know, this 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 might be useful for you if you're uh, you're probably not set, resetting your sci-fi story into medieval times, but uh, perhaps you want to change a particular scene from an office building to maybe a shipyard instead, and just uh, seeing what details may come out and what how it changes the characters as well. Um, this can give you lots of different ideas if you're stuck. Uh, and I'll, I'll be giving a little bit more examples um, in Slack as well, so head over there. Um, but we're launching this uh, today, so it's available in labs. And as always, uh, we welcome any uh, feedback that you have and please share any interesting ideas for custom filters as well in the Slack. Um, we'll be adding uh, some more of the pre-canned ones, and we're constantly doing tests to see what works well. Um, but let us know uh, if you find anything interesting. And uh, happy writing!